Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate a new game called a new game that I made called Running Ball 3D. So let's just start. So first of all, I'm going to tell you guys some of the codes inside of the ball, inside of some of the assets here. So here's what's inside the ball. So it's kind of it's actually a lot. So of course the if you have the start one, you have start right over here, which you can name, rename it to anything like the, the name is start. And the physics for the ball is kinematic. The, oh, and the affected asset for the ball is literally everything. And there's a need collide here. So it's, so this is for the enemy collide, collision. So if it collides to an enemy, it will, it will have a degree resolution which um, inside of it the, which the explosion is some hexagon and then the defeat of course it's a defeat and this is for the delay so the delay is 0 0.5 seconds and then after that you go to an, an event event call then the event 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 is game over and then for the controls you use the arrow button or your mouse button so for the arrow button uh here's you just need to search for uh keyboard keyboard and then keyboard and then now you use keyboard button and then i just rename it to l arrow button or left arrow button and the codes for the left button is uh i change the x to minus eight and then we also have the right button which is totally the same thing so this is the mouse click so if i click it on the right side of the a game of the map it will uh, the ball will go to the right I, have, I also use the, uh, the right arrow button to make it easier and as you can see this the x is 8 without the minus because minus is for going the opposite side which is and we also have some other objects here which is asteroid uh, we also have a a cactus for the enemy so that's why it will just fall like i put it up and the physics are dynamic so it's in somewhere in the map and i'll explain that later and the ground which is here as you guys can see we have the the enemy which i'm not using i'm actually the enemy for the, this game is the cactus the breeze as you, uh, which you guys can see at the ball it's the debris it's for the debris explosion we also have diamond for the point uh, i don't know what the deep fly is for uh, i think i misclick click deep fly and then we also have ground spikes for you know just for uh, the enemies as usual and we're going inside the mind map so we have the home screen ui so i use this so there's a run so you have the title of the game running ball 3d you have play the play button and you can press enter to play wait i haven't set this so so the so you need to press enter to play. So yeah, I don't know why it's just it's return. I think it's because uh, this is like a Mac or something. I don't know. And also put a built-in build box logo just to make it. Uh, just uh, I don't know why, but I just I just put it there so that. Then you also have the other UI screen, so this is inside of the game. So you have your score here. You have your score right over here, uh, and then this this, this thing, the, the, this like crosshair will show you your score. And you have an even observer for the game over. You also have the left and right, so you can click the mouse, but that doesn't work for me. So that's why I'm using the arrow keys and the next up next up we have is the game over here so if the game over it will show your high score and the current score that you are in and we also have a restart button which i take from the previous game which is dino chrome so oh yeah i also forgot to tell you guys about the map so this is the map the start button is just plain we have the we have the first section right over here just three cactus, two big ones, one small one, one small cactus there, and then the points. And there's another version of it which have have no points. I 
I just renamed it with NP uh, or no point and then the one with the spikes right over here which this, this is the one with points and this is the one without the points and we have the third third section here which is the same one but i believe this has asteroids yeah we have one big we have one asteroid or we're just just at the top i put it at the top because i don't have any i don't i haven't got the, the code to make it like uh, falling down uh, so I just make the asteroid to the the physics of that to be dynamic. So in that, so if, because if it's dynamic, it will fall because there there's gravity. And this is three NP or three no points, so you don't have any points at the bottom here. And the asteroids are kind of annoying. So if you go, this asteroid might fall into the, into your character, and you'll die and lose. Now this is the same thing. But the difference here is just the position of the asteroid. Now the same thing here. Wait, oh yeah. This thing also have a higher asteroid right over here. Very, very high up. It, so we have two asteroids here, but one is so, is so high that, oh, it took so long to fall that the, this one have a higher chance to hit you. And the same thing, but, but now uh, the asteroid uh, uh the asteroid is more lower and we have no points on uh, the fifth one is a more complex one so you can't choose between two uh two paths like the, the left path or the right path and well, you and there is no asteroid in here uh it's just like for picking the path and stuff and then we have the one with the no points so um all right, so let's just start a preview of, uh, and demonstrate the game to you guys. So, wait, okay, no, that's not funny. Come on, on a full screen, this will it work? Okay, so this is the so this is the first one right over here, running ball 3D. Okay, now press it just to play, and it will load. Okay. Okay, now oh, I just lose. Okay, come on. So your goal here is the only. So the goal here is to win, of course, not to win, but to defeat your high score. Okay, my voice, the sound is too not too loud. I'm gonna lower it a bit. Okay, so as you guys can see here, I already got three points, which is my highest score, and and my current score is three points, and it's also the highest score. So. My point is 3 and the high score is 3. So let's just restart. Okay, let's restart. And hopefully we can win this time. As you guys can see, it will fall and it kind of bounce a bit. Okay, it's trying to slow down. The internet connection is bad. Alright, so like the previous game, like Dino Chrome and also Jumping Cube, uh, you just. Um, all you do is just defeat defeating your own high score. Uh, um, yeah. So, oh, that one score. So very, 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 very. So as you guys can see here, because those blocks is online, so and the internet connection is bad, the character will go slowly. Like it go to like slow motion mode. Right. Just focus here, and um, it's actually just like so. The enemies here, or the what is it called, obstacles here, are just the asteroids and the cactus, which is which the asteroids are very very annoying. They fell and they might block the way out, so there's no way for you to go anywhere. Except hitting the asteroid and then restart the game like that. That asteroid just go to the ball. Like it's very very annoying, but um, but it's also pretty fun. Which is actually the whole the whole um part of the game, like the whole point of the game, to make it not easy to beat. And yeah, that one just scared me. So um, I'm going to try and beat my high score again. So as you guys can see here, the controls is, is just right and left arrow. You cannot jump in this game. This is like a different game. Like it's 
It's like jumping cute, but the difference here they are the obstacles that I use and also how to play the game. So if in jumping cube you just jump and you cannot go anywhere else but it's in a straight line. Well in this game you guys can go freely except going up because uh, at the jumping cube we're learning how to move the character forward and how to make the character jump but and at this in this one we're learning how to um, how to make the character go right and left using buttons and also mouse and also mouse clicks. Okay, so I have beaten my high score. Um, it's actually a pretty fun game. So, uh, and I mean, hopefully you guys uh like the video. Hopefully you guys like the game. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. If you do like. If you do like the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends or family. And um, and um, I think that's all. So yeah, once again, thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. If you got, if you have already gotten this far, please leave a like and bye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye guys.